Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS. Now, it's real time. Sponsored by the Mill Casino. Welcome back, everyone. Joined in the studio by Cropper, Ki Cropper, Cropper, <laughs> Killer himself, uh, Kevin Collier. It's good to see you, man. What's up, bro? Good to it's see you. It's been a again. while. It's uh, been a minute. It's been a while. Last time I saw you, we talked about crappie jigs and, yep. and different baits that you were making. Mm -hmm. uh, that you just recently come up with one of your partners, and yep. it turns out you got a lot of partners. Man, I got a lot of friends. I'm telling you right now, man. <laughs> he's got uh, 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 iron in the fire everywhere. Yeah. Uh, but for those that don't know you, how do they find you, and and you know where where can they find even some of the products that it is well that you making. can find all of our products at nodrfishing.com okay everything we have uh, our apparel the rods procure everything is that's our home site okay you go there you click on this it'll send you straight to uh procure and everybody else who makes our products besides us which there's no shortage of them. What are you nah, making I'm, now? Give me a rundown. All right, so I, I, mean, look. I know that we've got the website. We can show that. <laughs> but just you got to tell me well, what Well, I had is. to bring this one. This is yours, okay? Th this oh. rod is yours. This is our new NODR rod. I, I know you like the fish for steelhead, but yeah, this rod right here was actually designed for me for jigging for crappie. So okay. I said, I got to get one of these in your hands. So this oh is yours. Oh, my God, dude. Thank you very and much. And what we did with these rods, man, is we always encourage people to put guns down with violence yeah. and pick up a rod. Right. So, you know, bandanas are associated with bad things, and, you know, we wanted to make a bandana a good thing. So yeah. we got with Talon Rods, and they actually went and got a real bandana and put this on a rod. That's a... This that underneath here is actually this a is real a bandana. real bandana. <laughs> I love it. I love that. I don't know how. I still don't know how they right. got these secrets. But this is an actual real bandana. We have them very in cool. every color that you can think of. Okay, very every cool. And every uh, different type of rod. If you fish for crappie, bass, mm -hmm. wildlife, musky, tuna, so on and so on, steelhead, we really? have we cover everything. We have over forty different uh, blanks. No kidding. Forty plus. All under the uh, NODR. All under NODR. Wow, yeah. dude. Yeah. Now, I've been following you, your brothers, <laughs> your friends for, uh -huh. good God, man, what is it, 12 years, 13 it's, years? It's been about 16. 16 <laughs> years? I don't know. I've been doing this all my life. Okay. But, you know, I think publicly it's been about 13, 16. Now, I, yeah, okay. It's That's, been a long time, man. It's been a long time. We just hit 16 years here at GPS. It's amazing how quickly things just go exactly. by. But you've exploded. Now, oh, yeah. now you're known as crappie killer, all I'm right? I'm known as the crappie killer, but I fish for anything, everything. And anything and everything. Anything and everything. On your website, let's go ahead and pull that page up so everybody can kind of see what it is so that when they get that, they know if they're in the right spot. Uh, there's certainly, and your brother, Damon, is all part of this, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Westbred Diamond, uh, that's my that's my brother. Okay. He's all, he's the cameraman, also fisherman, co-host of uh, NODR. You said cameraman. They can find you on YouTube. Yes. Go to uh, NODR YouTube. Okay. And you can find us on YouTube. All the way back? All the way back. Awesome, man. All the way back from day one, yeah. all of our episodes. And we're actually, we're filming more. We just put an episode out. We're out messing around with, uh, with our rods and... Uh -huh. Took my brother crappie fishing. He doesn't like the crappie fish because he gets a little frustrated because it's not an <laughs> e it's not an easy fish. I mean, people say oh, it's just a crappie. It. Throw it a bobber. Is too. You throw a bobber and dig out there and you just catch it. When the last time you caught a crappie? When I tried, I didn't do very well. Okay, I, I speak to so many guy fishermen <laughs> here in the area yeah. that don't don't fish for panfish. Right, it's a fish that's overlooked. Um, crappie is not an easy fish. Right. It's Why not. do you say that? What makes them difficult? Um, you know, in the spring, it's easy. Everybody's a crappie fisherman in the spring. Throw a bobber out there, two feet under the bobber jig, you mm -hmm. get them. Gotcha. As the seasons change, like right now, we're dealing with super hot temperatures. Right. Earlier in the year, they were in eight feet of water. Now, it's all about finding them. So, right. I'm catching fish anywhere from 25, 30 feet, and they're spread out. Wow. Yeah. So it's just, it's not an easy fish to when catch. They're, when they're that deep. And on his website, you'll find different baits that he makes, right? Oh, yeah. Um, that will make you better at catching crappie. There's no question. Look at the size of that's that That's my bluegill. son right there. Caught that bluegill right at, that's that blue lake. Wow. Blue lake. They shut the lake down, I think, for a whole year for, for uh, construction. They actually did a nice job over there. But my son caught that last week at blue lake. Wow. Yeah. Did you guys keep it? No, we let it go. It, had, okay. it was full of eggs, and oh, uh, okay. we encourage people to let fish go. That you know, the big yeah. ones that have 100%. eggs. One hundred percent. Yeah, so we can keep yeah. them going. Those are crappie right out of Hag Lake. Out of Hag. Out of Hag. All right. Yeah. Now, when you're targeting them, you mentioned that you're finding them now. God, those are nice crappie. Oh yeah, they're not no, they're not little crappie out there. I mean, these are not your uh, little small Willamette. Not saying that Willamette doesn't have any big one, but you know, I'm not gonna lie, Hag Lake has some decent crappie. So okay, so. When they're in that size, they're coming out of Hag Lake. 
listen, if you're in the Willamette, you catch a crappie, a panther, something that lives in there, you might be a little, hey, you mm -hmm. might not want to eat too many of these fish right. and chips, right? But out of the, out of hag. Water's clean. Water's clean. Clean. Look at that bluegill right there out of hag. Wow. And you just mentioned that it is an underutilized fish, but we're planning on, on being there this week. We're, we're going to go after trout. <laughs> Maybe my, some crappie. That's a good friend of mine, Adam Rouse. He's a really good crappie fisherman. All right. Now, uh, when you're out, let's just use Hag as an example. What, how are you actually going after him? Is it you're using your new signature series rods? Right? Definitely using our rods. Now, this is a 10-10. That's a 10-10 uh, stick. I can troll with that. Uh huh. I can uh, jig with that. I can fish it all kind of different ways. I like the vertical jig with that. Okay. And then when I'm trolling with that, it's sticking 10 feet off the side of the boat. Gotcha. So, I mean, and the action on it is ridiculous. We Art. were out there catching perch last week, mm -hmm. little two-inch perch, and every time they hit it, it's, it's, it was like a salmon hit the dang thing. Right, okay, yeah, I got it's you. very sensitive and strong. So, you're just holding up your bobber, no, no, excuse me, your jig, mm -hmm. right underneath the tip of the rod. Oh, yeah. And then just kind of manipulating it a bit, or you just kind of <sighs> well, leave uh, it? Well, it depends on where the fish are. Right. If they're sitting a lot of, right now the fish are sitting like, they're kind of hugging the bottom. Okay. Uh, because of the heat. And early in the morning, you'll see them starting to move around more or whatever. It's all about the temperature, but sure. I'm targeting fish that are deep. So I'm sure. dropping down at the bottom and I'm coming up. Oh, dude, this would make a feel good. This would it? certainly catch a steelhead. That would definitely catch a steelhead. I, 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 it would be a, really a ton of fun with crappie, with, with bluegill. with Anything a... you catch on this rod, I promise. I haven't caught anything huge with it yet. Yeah. Because I've been targeting, you know, all the panfish, but sure. it's very sensitive, bro. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, it's uh, very the, sensitive. The, it's a very and that well, was yours, so you get to take I, it I home love and play it. With and it. I like how you got the. Now you put some thought into this. You yeah. fish. Listen, they call them crappie killer for a reason. <laughs> okay, you fish a lot of different rods that are yeah. most of these that are targeted towards panfish are made down south, down you exactly know, in different areas, not necessarily uh, uh, the, the the northwest, right? Mm -hmm. The long front handle here is something that I noticed instantly, and the short one in the back. What's yeah. the advantage uh, of that? It's just the the way that you were just handling. it. I can feel everything. You see, this is this is an arm now. Yeah. This is just my arm. Everything else you could just feel out there, just like you just had it. Right. So it, it's it's designed just for that. So you're running uh, what size of a spinning reel on this? Uh, about a 100, 200, small. Okay, just a little. Four guy. pound test. Okay. Wow. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't have done that. I'd have 15 pounds of people, on there. A lot of people are scared to use the four, four pound, but I can fill them a lot easier. Okay. And a lot of times uh, lately I've been using uh, skinny braid, like really uh, thin diameter braid. Sure. And then I'm uni knotting four pound test on it. And it feels, you can feel it even. All right. It's so on ridiculous. your main line, your, your reel, you've yep. got braid on there, yep. 10 pound, eight pound, whatever, yep. something thin. Like two pound diameter on it. Yeah, they're super yep. thin when you get super into that thin. range. And then four pound four is pound. your leader. Mm -hmm. And then straight to your to straight, your crappie jig. Straight to the jig. Now you can find all those jigs when they do go on online to your website. Is there a particular style or name uh, of jig body and jig head that you're using now? Well, or right now, all of it? right now, I'm just using all kinds of. We're we're not offering jigs at this moment. Okay, but just we, but the bodies. Yeah, you can you can you can use. I mean, and, and what I've been trying to explain to my guys, a lot of guys go out and they get these little tiny crappie skirts. Sure. Crappies are so aggressive. I'm catching crappies on three-inch baits. I'm catching wow. Yeah. You mentioned that last time you were in that yeah. one, I remember. Yeah. I'm catching crappie on bass-sized crankbaits. Huh? Anything that you got that's a bass-sized crankbait, I don't care how big it is. Mm -hmm. Crappie has a big mouth, man. I mean, some of the crappie I'm catching have bigger mouth than small mouth. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So we do it right now is a, a good technique for summertime is long line trolling, bro. Really? Yeah, you let that thing back at about 100 yards, mm -hmm. and depending on the, the size of the crankbait, just troll it. A mm -hmm. lot, Like I said, a lot of those fish are hugging the bottom. Crappie see that crankbait coming over, and it's really the shadow that they see crappie feet looking up. Sure. Once they see it, they come up, and you'd be surprised. They hit that crankbait like... It's, it's unbelievable. That I'm using, like a lot I'm of using crankbaits this big, wow. bass crankbaits, and they're knocking it. Is there, I know I got to cut to a break, but I'm right in the middle of it, I can't, I can't not ask. So trolling, that's not mm -hmm. something that a lot of people are going to think of as a way to target uh, a crappie, right? Yeah. It's always going to fall back to a bobber and a jig yeah. or just vertical jigging it like you're talking about. Yeah. But trolling it, is there a speed, are, do, do they like it fast like a walleye might or do they uh, like it slow? It, it's, it's, it's all about the speed. I'm glad you asked. Uh, I like to go like one and a half. 
Okay. 1.2, 1 so and a half. So you're moving. That's not. Oh yeah. That's not like a, a kokanee super slow troll. Yeah. That's, you're you're covering ground. They're aggressive. Like I said, they come up and they grab it just like mm -hmm. a bass. I mean, we catch a lot of smallmouth bass and largemouth doing the same thing. So mm -hmm. you'll catch multiple species doing sure, it, sure. but the crappies, man, they come up and I mean, they smack it. And this is the one that you're using. I'm using that one right there. Okay. Long lining, 12, uh, 10 feet off the side of the boat, 10, right. 10. And when I tell you, when they load up on it, they load up on I, it. I mean, I can see that for they certain. They load up on it. Put the bobbers down, you guys. It's not bobber season. I keep telling these guys, put the bobbers down. All Don't right. be afraid to take the bobber off and throw it out there. Do you ever cast Don't, and retrieve? You, yeah, of course, definitely. And I'm not even going to lie. My buddy, Adam Rowski, I've been out there fishing with him a bunch of times, and I watch him. I'm like, you know what? Why is he killing him? So he uses two jigs. Oh, he doesn't use anything but two jigs. Same thing. He fishes the world, and he and he's doing this slow retrieve. And what he's doing is he's throwing out there, letting it hit the bottom, come back, brilling it up a little bit, letting it drop, brilling it up a little bit, and letting it drop. And they come and grab it. But you gotta put this on there. <laughs> you gotta, the you gotta put this. On. Hey, look, I've been using this. Uh, Steven, he said, go out and use it for a while and see. Mm -hmm. I said, this is it. Right. He made me wait a whole two and a half, almost three months before we put this pro uh, product out. Right. This right here is killing the game. And the thing I like about the scent so much, it stays on. I don't right. have to keep putting the nitlet on, keep putting all these things on. Sure. This stuff sticks to it. Well, that's a perfect segue. We're yeah. going to come back. We're going to talk more about some of the new flavors from Procure that have been put together by him and Keevan, by them and Keevan, of course. So stick with us here. We're going to continue to talk alternative species to go after. I want to talk about some of the other ones. You mentioned crappie, you mentioned bluegill a little bit. Let's talk some bass, yeah. maybe even some catfish, some other species that you can go after with some of the products from Keevan. We'll be right back. Outdoor GPS is brought to you by Chevy Silverado and the impressive new TurboMax engine. Flex your muscle with the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever. Official truck of Outdoor GPS.